So over a long writing weekend, I ran into a trouble spot in my story. The kind of trouble spot where you're not entirely sure what's wrong, it's just like, it's a sense. It's a sense as you sit at the keys and you try to type and nothing's quite coming out the way it's supposed to. Not because the like forward look of your story is wrong, but something. Something is wrong. Something is off. I could not pinpoint what it was. It took me a little bit until I realized that the cause of my ire was what it always is with me, frankly, that I had I had outlined, I had timelined, and I had done something ever so slightly incorrectly. By that I mean as I had drafted all my way through the story, I only realized in the very moment that I was typing that I had made a mistake. And as we all know, as we're writing, if we find the one mistake in trying to fix that one mistake, sometimes you create three mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> very much like head of a hydra as you're going through a story. But I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do was take a step back and actually try and fix things before I continued on with the drafting process. I was pretty far into the story, frankly, and I did have that clear vision of where the story needed to go. It was just this one little timeline error, this one little like four hour blip I'd not accounted for that like desperately needed to be accounted for. And despite having a visual timeline and a whole Scrivener document where I kind of outlined scene by scene, I I could not for the life of me figure out how to fix this problem. Something about it just wasn't working. <laughs> what I needed to do was draw it by hand. What I needed to do was shift things around physically. Not like a drag and drop. I mean like physically. The first part that I did by hand was actually this very terrible note taking system. <laughs> Arrows and chicken scratch to get a kind of starting point. When I realized what I could do was return to an ancient system that I once used, ancient, years ago. Never used it again. But in times of crises, sometimes we fall back on, on our old ways. And that is the physical scene cards. Actually, it was so funny. I was looking for these scene cards during the prime writing weekend while I was streaming. And you can tell there's a division in between the colors. These white ones are an entire story that I had outlined. One of the like very first stories I ever finished. Finished, finished. One of the very first stories I ever gave to someone else is on these note cards, which is very exciting in its own right. <laughs> this was like a new adult superhero story. It's fine, it doesn't matter. What I did like that I had done though in revisiting these note cards is that I put the date, the location, and the characters that were in the scene, the important characters that were in the scene. And so I decided past me was clearly brilliant and I would be replicating this for a closet full of cauldrons with the hopes, fingers crossed, that in doing so, I would be able to figure out what the issue is and how to rectify it. So while I drafted most of the prime writing weekend, the last sprints were actually used going through the note cards and I will be telling you shortly what my color coded system is. So I have a nice size little stack of cards now. And I'm actually on, this is right around where I stopped last time. So now I'm going to pick back up from where I had stopped writing and finish up basically from the all is lost all the way down to the final image. And then once I have all of the scene cards done, done, I'm going to go ahead and spread them out. I think maybe on the floor. <laughs> somewhere I can see them and like physically move them and then I'm gonna put in all of these scenes that I've just been making notes that I need the green bits and see where they best fit because some of them are like active clues and other ones are just kind of like little one-off notes that I need to put on the scene cards but probably just like on the actual Scrivener document so that I remember to go place that in <sighs> let's do this how many scenes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten plus. Let's do this. What was the last one? <laughs> All right. Well, it only took me about an hour, but look at it. It's done. The end. <laughs> okay. Now. To lay these out or pin them up. All right, let's get to work.
that transition sounded more fun in my head. <laughs> also, I do have a cappuccino in my cauldron mug because it felt perfectly fitting. This is the other problem. Oh my god, but she's such a good girl. Okay, not a problem at all. Let's proceed. Okay, so now we have it all laid out. And basically what I did over here was I looked at the scenes that I'd selected and kind of pulled out. And now some of them can be combined into scenes I already have, but two of them need to be their own note cards. Mm -hmm. So now make the note cards, put the other scenes on there. So as I was sitting here looking at it, I actually realized I need one more over here. So <laughs> that's fun. This is what this is for so that I can look at it. I thought I had all of them and that I'd added all of them, but something about seeing it visually is proving that that wasn't the case. But I think I'm close. So again, the red is like red herring. So I basically have one, two, three, four, five, five potential suspects that are not the actual person in, uh, responsible. Green is in theory clues, which I'm gonna be adding one of them. The question though is where exactly is the best place to add it? And actually, now that I'm looking at this. Okay, I think it has to be sometime on Wednesday. Maybe Thursday. Anyways, let's get to it. Oops. I now have everything that was color coded there. Now on to these color coded note cards. The only other thing is to like take them and put them back in the right order. Um, but as long as I can keep the girls like mostly off of them, I think I might keep them like this as I re-put them into this part of Scrivener. Thankfully, I noticed the error when I did, so there's not actually a lot that needs to change. Again, there was only two additional scene cards that were added, and everything else was just like little line items within scenes, so I'm feeling confident. Once I had my scene cards complete, once I put those onto the Scrivener document, once I started typing up a storm because I felt so solid in what I was doing now, all that was left was to finish finish my current draft of A Closet Full of Cauldrons. And these are my completed note cards. This is the note card that I stopped working on today. And these are how many I have left. So I am on the precipice of finishing this story. And I could not have done it without the note cards. It's incredible. I literally have not used these since this freaking first story, okay? I have not used them, but something in like visibly seeing the entire story. Something that in theory my timeline software should be able to do, but like, yeah, the physicality of moving it with my hands and shifting the story in the same way that I almost imagine it in my brain is what I needed. And I'm so excited. <laughs> my goal is to finish writing the draft tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then over the weekend. I'm so close, so, so close. And then I'm going to take like the slightest of breaks. I'm thinking just a week to let everything settle before I go back and kind of smooth out from where I had stopped to where the note card sort of took over, if that makes any sense. Basically from when I recognized there was a problem. So I need to smooth all of that out and all of the uh, work I've been doing since, right around this much. Let's see, where was I at when I? realize my problem. I realized my problem right around this note card. So I have drafted one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15 ish with four more to go scenes. And those are all entirely first draft work. So I just want to smooth those out a little bit and then I will be 
right on track to give this over to beta readers, some alpha readers I would argue even, by the end of March, which is my kind of Q1 goal. And I'm so excited. Were it not for the note cards, I really don't know if I would have made it here. So I guess I'm sharing because I am achingly curious if you have ever returned to sort of an old system that worked for you once and you kind of didn't use it for a while and, and in a moment of crisis <laughs> you returned to it and, and how it helped you and what was that system. Also let me know if in general you're a physical scene card kind of person. And while I was sharing a lot of this on stream, I had so many people say that there genuinely is something about that like brain to hand that makes such a difference for them. And that sometimes in those moments for them, they really do need to jot it out in a journal. It doesn't matter if they've been typing up in their word processor, whichever one, you know, they, they need that physicality. And I'm curious if you feel the same way. But thank you all so much for watching. Cheers to scene cards, and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. What a choice. Why am I waving it like this? Who knows? Bye. <laughs>